My friends, this week, known as President's Week, mark the birthday anniversary of two of our greatest presidents, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln. It is widely believed that Washington had dyslexia and taught himself to correct the problem. Despite that and other disabilities, he went on to serve as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War and was elected the first President of the United States. I am particularly fond of his asserting, and I quote, 99% of failures come from people who make excuses. Our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, dealt with depression so severe that it caused physical ailments that incapacitated him. That did not stop Lincoln from becoming a lawyer, a member of Congress, and president during the Civil War. And I'm equally fond of Lincoln's aphorism, and I quote, let no feeling of discouragement prey upon you, and in the end, you are sure to succeed. For both Washington and Lincoln, Assuming your achievements will be limited because of a disability is nothing more than an excuse. This Shabbat's biblical portion, Parashat Truma, we continue reading of Moses' commanding leadership of the Jewish people. And God instructs Moses to collect gifts from the Israelites in order to build a tabernacle so that God can dwell among the people. According to the 12th century biblical commentator Ibn Ezra, these were directives that Moses received atop Mount Sinai, where he remained for 40 days and 40 nights receiving God's commandments, overcoming disabilities. Circumstances were scarcely ideal for the assignments, the Herculean tasks that Moses was given. He was a stammerer and a stutterer, a refugee from justice, and yet he achieved mightily despite forbidding circumstances. In life, if we wait until circumstances are precisely right for us to achieve and to accomplish, then nothing will ever be achieved and accomplished. Each one of us has heartaches and pains, limitations, and handicaps. Each one of us has burdens to carry and obstacles to overcome. The lesson is clear, my friends. Choose not to place the D-I-S, the dis, in your ability. Shabbat Shalom.